so we are uh, gonna continue with assignment 1.2 uh, all we need to add the data from the GS tutorial uh, in which you have a folder called PAGIS uh, the GS folder PAGIS and I'm gonna from the mid hill folder I'm gonna add uh, the streets buildings uh, buildings um, mid the 911 calls the curbs and that's part it actually I'm gonna add them to the map if you get something like this don't worry about it okay I'm gonna show you how to actually make your points bright red okay uh, one of the things the book talks about is uh, make the streets you know a little more obvious maybe and curbs should be bright but you know maybe dark gray and the building should be I'm gonna do the buildings like a without the border so that they're not so obvious and uh, one of, so to create this map one of the things I would definitely need is uh, to actually zoom into Erin Street and identify the block so how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go to find features I'm gonna use uh, from features I'm gonna find uh, Erin Street in my streets layer I'm gonna set find so it returned me four values I'm gonna select control and hold and select uh, and I'm gonna right click and say select and I'm gonna say right click on them and say zoom to so now uh, I actually zoom to the to the street of Erin Erin or Erin Street so I'm gonna zoom out a little and I can see that uh, you know even though it written four streets I think the blocks that we need to be concerned about are this one this one and this one so um, f first of all make your points bright red this is how you select a circle and I'm gonna select bright red and I'm gonna reduce the size to maybe 10 okay so that I can see them clearly enough uh, so the blocks that you need to be worried about is uh, this one and this one uh, so let's see so first uh, now that I know what the street is I'm gonna deselect that uh, and I'm gonna label my streets go to properties of the street uh, shape file go to labels click on label features and I'm gonna say yeah F name is good I'm gonna label it using maybe six font and I'm gonna click OK. So now I know what Erin Street is, right? And I'm gonna click on Zoom tool and zoom into. Actually, I should have done better because I need the two blocks pretty clearly. So I'm gonna select Zoom into that. So that sounds about right. So if you want a more precise zoom, I'm gonna click on the Select tool, select this street, this street, uh, this street. Uh, the the bounding streets of the two blocks to actually make a more precise selection so I'm gonna click and hold shift while I do my selections and I'm gonna say uh, right click and say go to selection and zoom to selected features so which is gonna give me a lot more accurate zoom and now now that I've done that I'm gonna go to selection and I'm gonna say uh, actually I'm gonna go to bookmarks and I'm gonna create a bookmark called Erin Street. Now, if I am lost, I don't know where the streets are. Still, I'm gonna go back to my bookmark and go to Erin Street to actually zoom in to the streets, which is what we want and which is the purpose of the bookmark, anyways. So, the task in this uh, assignment is to select, is to identify the 911 calls in these two blocks and actually make a table of it uh, so this is how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna click and hold shift key and sell and I'm gonna go and select those three 
don't worry if you see more than one selection the buildings are getting selection selected don't worry about it so now i think i covered all the 911 calls uh, so what i'm gonna do is right click and go to open attribute table in which i see 13 different 911 uh, calls okay i'm gonna click on show selected which is which is gonna give me all the uh, street number street names and the dates and the nature of the crime and the address so this information is what we need uh, to actually enter into the table uh, you can uh, so I'm gonna sh you can actually copy this information right click uh, so first of all you need to create a word document I'm gonna show you but now I created this uh, table in which I have my ta uh, you know I have address date and uh, call type as my columns and I need to fill this so one way to do it is actually right click uh, or actually right click on the address and paste it or actually uh, paste it individually uh, or to actually export this data I'm gonna say export right click on the you know click on the options tool there and it's gonna say export and make sure you got the selected records to export and then export it to uh, answers assignment 1 export it as calls 911 calls and click on ok so now the data is exported into a table and actually when you export make sure you got the uh, you know output is actually a table it is by default a table so don't worry about it so I'm gonna go back to my C drive in which I have my GS tutorial and answers and there should be a small table 911 now, if you have a different view, it will look like something like that. 911 calls dot dbf. No, don't worry about the second file that is created, which is an XML file. And that one, uh, just right click and go to properties and make sure that it is actually by default set to open within Microsoft Excel. And double click on that. So you got the data that you need in this file one of the files uh, for one of the uh, essential things is address nature uh, nature of the uh, and the third important one being date okay this is the date right so these are the three three fields that we are interested from this table so I'm gonna right click and say copy and I'm gonna create a new sheet and I'm gonna paste it in there and uh, rearrange this data so that it looks uh, like that like the one that I need it to look like this format right address date and call type so I'm gonna move move it to the last one and move this to the second and I'm gonna uh, copy this data and co copy it and paste it into my paste it into my word document so that is how you do it and uh, if you want to play with the way the table looks and so on and so forth please feel free to do it but it's not absolutely critical okay and the other thing you need to do is paste a uh, paste a thumbnail uh, sort of a thing a uh, paste the picture or a jpeg of the map so that we know or the group the crime watchers group know what they are looking at i'm gonna deselect everything and i'm gonna go to file click on export and export this one as assignment 1.2 and I'm going to the second 